welcome back to my channel postcards from my golden years so today I'm going to show you a little bit about our visit to the Naples Botanical Gardens if you look back my first video on our visit to the Naples Botanical Gardens was really all about our tour of the gardens the beautiful beautiful gardens while we were there there was a photography exhibit by the world famous Clyde Butcher. Clyde Butcher is known particularly here in Florida for his wonderful photographs of the Everglades. And so there was a sampling of his work in the gallery and we decided to take a walk through and we'll share some of that with you. His photographs are sometimes huge. We stopped in at his gallery on old Route 41, heading towards Miami once, and we saw huge photographs that took up a whole wall in the price range of an average of $30,000. But they are so beautiful. So anyway, come on a short little visit to the gallery exhibit at the Naples Botanical Garden, all about Clyde Butcher. And oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my video, hey, come on, what are you waiting for? It'll take a second. Just click the little subscribe button below and click the bell next to it if you like little reminders every time I post a new video. And do me a favor, if you enjoy this video, give me a nice thumbs up and that way I will know that you like this kind of video. Also, your comments are always welcome. So, it's getting a little frizzy out here. It's just rained again. I'm going to get back inside. Here's the video on our visit to the Naples Botanical Gardens photography exhibit of Clyde Butcher. Enjoy! Photographs of the Olympics of the World by Clyde Luker, a very famous photographer for the Everglades. Many of his black and white photographs sell for over $30,000 a piece. Looking here in the gallery, we're getting a preview of many of them. Clyde has been called the next Ansel Adams by Popular Photography Magazine. In 1983, he began photographing Florida beaches, and he was still using color film at the time. It wasn't until a visit to Tom Gaskin's Cypress Knee Museum in 1984, which was a roadside attraction in Central Florida, that he was introduced to a whole new side of Florida. And he met Oscar Thompson, a Florida native, who introduced him to the interior of the Big Cypress National Preserve and the Everglades by taking him on his first walk into the swamp. After his immersion into the beauty he found so mysterious and primeval, Clyde was then inspired to take black and white photography of the swamp. How many artists, photographers do you know that literally get right into the water in the swamp with water moccasins, alligators, and all kinds of other creepy things? Clyde is often asked while he's in his gallery, where's a good place in Big Cypress to photograph? And he replies, my parking lot, and says that some folks are insulted, but then he just figures they don't have their eyes wide open. Beauty is everywhere. You just have to open your eyes. 
Clyde's silver gelatin black and white images are created using an 8x10, 11x14, or 12 inch view camera. And then he prints his own images in his dark room on fiber based paper in limited edition. The photographs are selenium tone mounted and mounted to current archival standards. Absolutely beautiful. This is one of Clyde's cameras. As you can see, there's nothing digital about this one. Very unique. It takes the most beautiful photographs. Well, that was very interesting, wasn't it? So, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a nice thumbs up. And please become a subscriber. It will help me grow my business here on YouTube. And after all, that's why I'm here, to grow my presence. The more subscribers I get, the more views I get, the better it is for my channel. And feel free to leave me a comment below. I thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video. So goodbye from sunny Florida. And it is sunny right now. Goodbye from sunny Florida.